and holistic health practitioner. Today, I'm gonna to give you top five way how can you combat your gastric and acid reflux problem. If you are one of the Americans suffering with a bloating, acid reflux, dry cough, or all other acid problems and syndrome, I'm gonna give you top five techniques how can you get rid of medicine, how can you get rid of acid problem. As a healthcare provider, I get this problem a lot because this is the number one problem in the world and number one drug, selling drug around the world is an acid problem. So first of all, first of all, you have to understand that if you keep taking medication and you feel that it's gonna make you long-term constipation, bloating, long-term cancer, long-term eczema, it go through the body. So, so non-medicinal is the one you can try, which is um, which is the look at the root cause. Let's see what is the root cause. Root cause of acidity is in the stomach here, and stomach decrease or deplete the acid layer. So I see a lot of patients come to me that ask me, Dr. Hawk, I got too much acid in my stomach. I said, how do you know? They say, I feel it coming out in there. Or sometimes my patients say, my doctor told me. So what happened, if you get acid in here, coming to esophagus, coming to your mouth, doesn't mean that you have too much acid, actually too less acid. Yes, I may say exactly opposite what other people say. Because science shows that when you have a less acid in the stomach, then this sphincter, the gate, become loose, around pH become above three, that deep, deep, this gets open up. And if this gets open up, which is called cardiac sphincter, then acid comes us to esophagus, to your mouth, and all the burning sensation you can feel. So, what are you supposed to do? Since indigestion and lack of acid is the main problem, first of all, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to treat that with the acid depending on what types of acid problem that you have. Some people feel burning sensation. Some people uh, feel that, you know, you know uh, uh, bloating and a lot of, you know, pain here and there. That's called gastritis, which is, you know, suppose it's just tummy. When the tummy get inflammated with, uh, you know, uh, lack of microbiome function and lack of acid, this uh, layer, it has three solid layer in the stomach this layer get depleted or infected or inflammated, that's called gastritis. And that's we also, that go over, that go, uh, that we call ulcer. And ulcer go for a long time, that go to cancer. So depending on problem, you, um, you know, think about the solution. First of all, since acid, acidity is a problem, put some acid. How can you put some acid? Put some acid in your mouth, when you uh, eat food, then you put some acid. For instance, um, it could be apple cider vinegar, put some uh, probiotic, put some um, kind of uh, cloves. If you chew cloves, and, or if you drink a cup of milk, or if you get some ginger tea, also you can do kind of chew some apple. So this kind of acidic food you eat you'll see right away your gas is gone. Your reflux stop, you feel hungry, and your bloating is gone. Because you put some acid, the stomach is happy, pH goes you know, below three, and the sphincter get nice and closed. You don't feel a burning sensation anymore. And second thing you can do is, second thing you can do um, is probiotic. As you know that, human body has 100 to 600 trillion bacteria or viruses. They taking care of your system. So since stomach depletes the bacteria, and because of that, it, it, it's depleting acid level. And those bacteria are taking care of your digestion, and you just put some bacteria, like a, like a kefir, yogurt, fermented food, you know, kombucha, 
mm, and then you can put some miso and then all kinds of yogurt you can put on there that's gonna give you some good bacteria or you can take bacteria as a pill like you got for us you can find some and that will fill enough bacterial profile good digestion acid is in good level and splinter get nuts and close you won't feel acid anymore the third thing you can do is um, right food nowadays we don't eat food anymore we eat all junk our, our um, you know, food are messed up so we eat fried food we eating the hormonized chicken and meat and egg and milk we uh, we don't eating enough fiber so get a lot of real fresh grown vegetable that's gonna be fiber that's gonna be raw food and get some nuts and beans and you know wild caught fish that's gonna help you to digest food properly so instead of putting junk in your body get food on yourself then digestion is good you can get out of acidity and then fourth thing you can do is intermittent fasting intermittent fasting is you fast for part of your day and eat other part of your day so when you intermittent fasting you um, you are like you're you're putting your body in a body shop it's healing it's regenerating it's reviving and maintaining the hormonal level maintaining the acid level and maintaining all the um, uh, bacterial profile as well so that helps you to get out of gastritis and get out of heartburn or, or GERD whatever you say you can get out of intermittent fasting intermittent fasting nowadays a lot of research coming up that how it is so much beneficial you just need to be fasting for a long time uh, for instance don't eat breakfast that's take lunch and then skipping breakfast is going to give you a huge boost up of your digestion and then finally i'll say de-stress stress is a killer that's lowering down your digestion your hormone level all kind of problem so de-stress your body go to run outside go to you know play with your friend make a you know a sports buddy make a habit of going outside that's gonna you know detox your brain maintain acid level mental hormone level and boost up your digestion that's all you can do so finally i'll be i'll be summing up five things you can do to improve your digestion to improve your, get out of acid level completely first of all put some acid second add probiotic with your food number three you can eat right food instead of junk food number four is intermittent fasting number five is exercise to boost up to to tune up your system and these five things you can do you can say goodbye to medicine you can say goodbye to your all kind of indigestion and gastric problem thank you very much if you like my video please um share with others so you can everyone can be benefited more people can be benefited we can get the better work the developed world where people are healthy happy and disease free and again the gastric problem is the key people healthy or unhealthy so help people uh, to be healthy share my video to others and then benefit everyone also subscribe my channel I'm gonna be posting more scientific you know research and, and updates so you can help yourself help your society help your family thank you very much